It is November 21st. There is sunshine everywhere. And North Alabama is in Provo to take on eighth-ranked BYU. Howell in the backfield. Play action over the middle. Into BYU territory. Orange. Pressure comes. And Nyberg with the sun in his eyes will move away. Balls into the end zone. And we're ranked in the top ten. Man, you didn't have any trouble focusing in practice because you knew there was something on the line every play and every game from that point forward. Zach wants a home run on first down. He's got it to Romney in double coverage, and Gunnar Romney pulls it in. And, and this is where, where Zach Wilson just has the utmost confidence in Gunnar Romney. Romney's 6'3", and, and Zach knows if I get it up high, he will go up and he... ...of 30 yards or more. Now it's Tyler Algier. Bangs inside the 20, all the way to the 16. Just two interceptions. Over the middle, there's his tight end, Isaac Rex. Rex to the one yard line, it'll be first and goal for BYU. Shoulder pad to shoulder pad. Second down and goal. Play action. Zach to the end zone, and there's Rex. Touchdown. Making it look very easy. And Isaac Rex, seven touchdown receptions here in his freshman season. Amazing accomplishment. Here we sit with the ninth game of the year. And Utah, for example, beautiful catch down the sideline. Lyles, his backup at some point today. Blitz is on and Devers is down. And Kafusi on the charge to punt the ball away. Just does get it away. Nyberg from the 17. And... Uh, it's a little. After the play was over, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, number 10, receiving team. He's have games over a couple of years, or is there a really good opponent that they could play that even move him up higher? As for the here and now, Wilson gets out of the pocket and takes off with green grass in front of him, out to the 40, 41-yard line. In their football games, up seven. Here's the second possession for BYU. Zach. There's Dax Milne, first time. Who's a phenomenal route runner. Wilson over the middle, wide open. There's Milne again, inside the 20. Jerem, thank you, second down and 10. This is Algier with some room up the middle. And Tyler bangs his way to the 10. Take on very physical in the way he finishes runs. He gets it back on first and goal from the 10. Uses that 573 yards of total offense, and they're they're looking good again here. And Tyler's got another touchdown, his tenth on the season. And BYU extends the lead to 13 to nothing. Fight in this group. Deaver batted down, batted down by Zach Daw. They come close again. They're going to get one before the day's out. Nyberg from the seven. A little more room this time. Picks up five or six. By COVID, well, hopefully it's not too serious and they can both be back and play next year. From the 14, out to Dax Mill. Timing stuff, you, you can stay sharp on. BYU you going a little bit of a pace here. Out here, rumbling through, another first down. Uh, BYU's tight ends and receivers have done an excellent job in blocking this season. This is Kavika Fanua. Across the 45 minutes in Zach Wilson is whenever he's needed an answer, they get an answer. And for this one, they hand it over to Algier, and he gets close to another first down. Wow. First play of the second quarter. Down the sideline and inside the 15-yard line. And they stay on the ground. And into the end zone for the touchdown. And it's 20 to nothing. As BYU continues, Files again. Throws complete. Cougar defender fell down. Three-man rush. Little room. Trying to get to the outside. Cougars converge, and he goes down. They may have got a piece of the football. They got a piece of the punter as well as Nyberg. Running into the kicker. Defense. Five-yard penalty. Replay fourth down. Throw down, and they've, they've had some success with the quick throws. They're going to go with They're gonna the run pitch it. option. BYU is there. That second surge is not going to get it done. And the Cougars have cut him down. Zach Daw and company. 
top left tackle in college football. Likely high draft pick. Back to Algier. Blocks around the corner, and he's got room in front of him. Cuts back inside. And finally caught near the 20. Of a breath right now on the bench with 136 yards and two touchdowns already. Now Wilson looking for a touchdown to the end zone. And it is Neil Pau touchdown BYU. Contact tracing. So he missed two weeks going into the Liberty game as they run the left side. Pick up a first down. The ball is out. Kafusi's got it. And nobody's going to stop him. Inside the 15 to the 10, take that back. Somebody did stop him. Not before Isaiah Kafusi takes the ball to the six. Create one here as Price gets hit. The ball is out. And here comes Isaiah Kafusi, who always seems to be around to lose football. Called his shot and did it. This one he didn't call today. He must have known he was going to get tackled. Here's Algier, who's having a huge first half. Fourth down. Algier in motion. Here's Wilson to the end zone. Lobs it for Rex. And Rex uses that 6-6 frame for his second touchdown. And that, that, that's a tough one. When, when you put him out there at 6-6, he's also got long arms like a basketball player, and, and you get him on a corner. To this first half, taking care of business for BYU. Ball batted down at the line. That's the second time. Daw, long, Tonga, 321 pounds. On the rollout, pass is complete. Your first down, down at the 30 for the Lions. This is as close as they've been to the goal line. Downfield, inside the five, and a beautiful catch by Boykin. Illness and injury and all of that. They haven't been able to show off, and they are here, and now they get it in. Jawan Howell into the end zone for his first rushing touchdown of the season. On that uh, two-minute or one-minute and 37 offense. Zach looking around, has all day. Now goes deep for Milne. Dax has got it all the way down to the 17. This is back-to-back -back ridiculous throws, uh, and, and this throw... He's looking to his left, and then he comes back and spots Dax Milne late. Mm. And that is perfectly thrown. 58 yards for Milne, 22. Pressure comes. Zach flips it to Fanua. And Kavika is into the end zone. Touchdown. 22 yards. And BYU wastes little time. Improvising. So you got two guys coming at him. If he throws it up and over the top, it probably gets batted down, and so he just gives a little sidearm flip, perfect <laughs> spiral. They thought that Zach, with a skill set, would win that job. You see, hey, positive yardage run play. Look at this. Still motoring his price down. And Files throws it as far as he can to the end zone, and it is incomplete. Moore had a shot at it for the interception. Heard with he and... Romney, we may see Soljay Mayava this afternoon as well. And the first pass goes first punt of the day. Peavy is back. He's going to catch this into the sunshine at the 14-yard line. Deaver started the game, and Files has played good and showed some good things. He gets hit as he releases it, and this one is intercepted by Moore. Remember, he dropped one at the end of the first half. And Romney with all kinds of time. Waits for his man, throws for Wheat, and waits inside the 20. Rumbles down. Uh, himself a soft spot and then made the delivery. Romney over to Romney. And this is Gunner inside the 10 for a first down. Second down. Romney. Fanua. Touchdown, BYU. And Baylor Romney's got his second touchdown pass of the year. A seven yarder. Ready to go to work. Three-man rush. Now here comes pressure. And Deaver is not much of a runner. Eludes it initially and fires a shot on the sideline. By you, you cannot rebuild in two or three years like you can other places. A little razzle-dazzle. BYU in position today on BYU TV. On third down, trouble right from the start. Tuiati Mariner just devours to a as the head coach described to us, they, they are happy they are here. More pressure and another sack. And it's the same story. Tuiati Mariner. A basketball goes because 
home court advantage in basketball is a huge thing. There goes Fanua. Big run for 37. And Romney took a look and then headed upfield. Picks up a first down. Open field. Here comes the blitz. Romney sees it, drops it off to Davis. And Davis is inside the 20 to the 19. Eligible for postseason for for all, all, you know four years for these guys, and it'll be great when they can compete. This is Epps, another freshman with speed. Give this to Davis. And Davis is going to take it in for his first career BYU touchdown out of Las Vegas High School. Files is back in at quarterback over the middle. And a nice outstretched grab. Football here on BYU TV. Second down, lob to the end zone. And a spectacular grab for a touchdown. Six back to the 19. And they'll give it to Fanua. He'll get the six back. Punts in their 10 possessions. This one goes a mile high and caught at the 20. When BYU gets back to a normal, tough schedule with some preseason hype. Quarterback, he's going to be very good next year. Nyberg from the 28. Trying to get around that corner. And is dropped. Be very good next year. Here's Davis with a little daylight up the middle. Right to midfield. Romney steps up and takes off and dives for the first down. Had to get healthy and have another spring ball. First time they've ever faced a ranked FBS team. on the year ball is down on its way and he has got it now 10 for 10 a moment ago to have a kicker that's good from 53 yards so it's uh, we've enjoyed the liberties of this conversation today. yeah it's really fun it's really fun to dive in and, and almost allow yourself to go on tangents and talk about things that people 243 on the clock but Kalani Satake told us at halftime look I want to get as many guys as I can on the field there's a handoff to Miles Davis who breaks free and he's into the end zone Miles Davis with some electric footwork there and BYU takes a 65-14 lead. Typically, typically, not every time, but they know what they're doing. They do their research. <laughs> they know things. Yes, they do. Any team, <laughs> any time, any place. Over the middle. Nice pass in the first down. Pac-12 team gets an out right up until Thursday. If any other Pac-12 team comes available, then your game's canceled and they go to play somebody else and you're, and you're out as of Thursday. So, no way. Yeah. So BYU's not going to play a Pac-12 team. I can tell you that. Our final score, as Zach Wilson in two quarters puts on another show and leads BYU to a 66-14 win over North Alabama.